Hey guys, so as promised, we are going to give Savaland another chance. Um, I had the sneaking suspicion that the little kit that I got, maybe they put different quality products in there because it was such a cheap kit. It was like, it was like 20 bucks marked down and it was on sale for like 14 for the three little jars of acrylic and the uh, monomer, which you guys saw was black. So I have the suspicion that they don't put the same product in their bigger jars of acrylic. Like I got the blue set, it came with a dark blue, a light blue, and a glitter. Um, and they're big like uh, one ounce jars and they are completely full and these ones were more expensive. So I figured I'd give them a fair chance, which I mean, if that's what they did, it's still not okay. Like I still don't think that they should put different quality products. You know, you expect the product to be the same across the board. So if they did it, it's not okay. But in an interest of finding some good, uh, inexpensive quality acrylic, I'm gonna give it another shot just in case this product is different. So um, if not, I'll return it like I usually do. Now the jars are, first off, let me, let me show you the jars. So they are display worthy. They're very pretty, the jars, they're like decent. Um, and the jars are completely stuck, just completely full, right up to the top. Um, they were sealed. They did have the little seal inside, but it took me a while to get it open, so I went ahead and took them off. Um, so nobody had to watch me struggle. Um, nobody wants to see that. So we're going to go ahead and start playing with these. And if they don't work out well, we'll see if maybe some clear helps. You know, the usual routine. Um, we'll see if it's... Because the other stuff was really grainy. Even with that black monomer, it was really grainy. Also, something that I figured out. Um, so while I was looking for different Savaland to buy, I saw that they sell colored monomer. They sell monomer with pigment in it so that you can use clear acrylic and just change out your monomer. Because I guess because colored acrylic is expensive. So um, they sell little bottles of colored monomer. So I'm wondering if maybe I accidentally got a bottle of that in my kit. I don't know. Um, I know that that is not the monomer I've seen from everybody else when they use it, so I I don't know. Um, but like I said, the jars are completely full. They're they're pretty big jars. Um, they have the bigger sets for you know like 25 bucks with a bunch of little tiny jars, and then they have these smaller sets like they have a purple, a red, a champagne with like three colors of a similar similar shade. So I went with the blue just in case it did work so that I could have these colors. Because the colors are very pretty. If they work, we don't know that yet. So we're just going to jump in here. So, eh. It's not doing... The pigment isn't separating like it does with some... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so it's, it's marbling a little right off the bat. Let's see if you can see that. You can kind of see that clear spot right there. Um, but that works differently when you, you're laying it on top, which I'm going to show you here in a second. This is weird. This doesn't feel the same as the other stuff, which the other stuff was like white and pink, so um, it's going to feel a little different. But it doesn't feel grainy like the other stuff did at all. Um, it actually f almost feels kind of gummy. That's weird. Um, so we're going to lay it on top and see if it's see if it's any different. It's not marbling, I just didn't lay it very well. I mean, it is marbling, but that's not more marbling. That's just my bad application. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the colors first and then I'll lay it on top so we can see how it how it lays. It is very pigmented. This one actually wasn't, um, it didn't get chalky like I expected with that amount of pigment. It, it laid properly, which this one is very pigmented. So um, like you can see, so that one did marble and it is a little chalky, not too bad. But again, it's feeling really kind of stiff almost, which is weird. I'm using my Panda brush because it holds like a lot of monomer, so it shouldn't feel dry or stiff. And it's, it's not beating up amazingly, but I mean, it's not awful. And it is separating, which I expect when it's this big, when it's this pigmented, it always kind of separates. Well, mm, there's a lot of pigment in it. Okay, so that one did separate um, kind of like I expected. And you can see kind of the white spot here where the blue and the white separated. They add white to make that pastel. 
so that it doesn't look like this. Because when you don't add the white, you get that kind of sheer, not as opaque look. But when you add the white, you get this pastel color. However, the white likes to separate from regular pigment because they have different viscosities, so different weights for the powder. So, so that's what you get. This is what happens with white. But it still has a weird kind of gummy feel to it. It's strange. So I'm going to see if I can even get a wet bead out of this once we, once we switch over to the application side. All right. So, however, I do think, oh, here we go with the glitter. Lord help me. So the glitter is pretty dry, which I expect, I mean, I expect it to be dry because this stuff is dry, but also glitter. The glitter's really actually kind of pretty, though. It's got some silver, some red, some blue, and it's like a... I don't know, almost like a teal, kind of, but not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, guys. Yeah, it's kind of got like a teal, not really green, but, I don't know. It's very, I, I like it a lot. I love how it looks. And the glitter is laying just fine. I mean, it's dry, but all glitter is. The glitter is laying wonderfully. Weird. But it's still kind of gummy. Like, you guys can see it's not leaving anything on the brush. It's weird. It's actually pretty good. It's just that gumminess is strange. That is so cool. I like it. All right. Now we're going to try actual application. I want to try to get some wet beads because without the wet beads, you can't really do the cuticle work. So... Yeah, it's still... It's weird. Like, it's still not... I can't get it to be runny. Okay, there we go. Maybe it just takes a minute. I don't know. But it still has that, like, gummy... Gummy feel. Almost like gel. Yeah, that's the feel that I'm feeling. It almost feels like gel. So when you're doing your application part, as you go to wipe down, that takes care of that little bit of marbling that it has with most of these really pigmented colors. Usually just working it with your brush will get that to mix in. Yeah, it's weird. It has a very strange feel to it. But this is not the same acrylic that was in that kit at all. Now I gotta order some of their clear and pink to see if that's the same as in the kit. But you get, I don't know if you guys can really see what I'm talking about with the, it's weird, it stays all together, it's not separating. Huh. Actually, let me show you when I go to wipe it off, because usually when you go to wipe acrylic off, you'll see like the, the powder kind of, like the grains of acrylic in your brush. Get off there. It almost feels like it's halfway dry already, like it's halfway set. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to wipe some off so you can see it. So it's still, even on the brush, it looks like gel. It's very weird. I don't hate it, but it is very strange. It is sticking a little, yeah, it's kind of clogging up the brush a little bit. But I haven't really tried to clean it, clean it yet. So let's give it a couple swipes. So it's still a little, a little cloggy. Still sticking a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see how it does it here in the um, cuticle area, because that's where we need it to be kind of runny. And I got my brush super wet, didn't really drain it all that much, and barely picked up any. Still, like, you, you see how it's still not, it should be running as wet as that was. Even, even if I just lay monomer on it, it's still beating itself. It's weird. It's very weird. Definitely feels, it feels like halfway acrylic and halfway poly gel, almost, if that makes sense. I mean, it's laying okay, though, and I do very much like the color. So here's my... 
I'm thinking to myself, it would be good for practice because the beads stay together. You know, it's not running everywhere. Here's my issue with that though. You're gonna learn wrong. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna know, like if you learn with just Savaland, you're gonna think that's how normal acrylic behaves and it's not. Okay, this one's not wanting to bead right for me. But this is the one with the white pigment and white pigment is the worst. It is the worst. And it doesn't want to pick up very big beads on that one, so. So this one's pretty chalky, but again, it's not moving. <laughs> However, just hitting it with the brush does get rid of the marble. So that's, that's a nice, that's nice. Let me change my towel here. Unfortunately, I'm using blue, so I can't tell if it's <laughs> wiping off. So I'm going for wet again. So my brush is pretty much soaked. And it's still very dry. It's not even really dry because I can work it. It's weird. I can still work the acrylic, so it's not like super dry and like crumbly or chalky. Or chalky. It's just staying together quite a bit. This is just weird. I don't know what I expected, but it's not this. I don't hate it though. Like, if I'm being honest, I don't hate it. However, it does appear to be sticking in my brush. So we're gonna make sure that that's, it feels very sticky, the acrylic itself. It kind of feels like it does when you soak off. Do you know what I mean? That like, not snotty or anything, just sticky. Yeah, it's clogging up my brush a little bit. So if you do decide to use this, make sure you're very aware of cleaning your brush. Because it's gonna stick. This is just weird. I mean, like I said, I don't hate it, but it's very weird. All right, let's check out the glitter application really, really quick. But yeah, so I'm cleaning my brush again. Cleaning it again. So not too bad. Most of it came out after a couple dips. So as long as you're aware of it, I think it's okay. But for the amount that you get, I haven't had to mix any of it with clear, so I mean, it just feels strange. If anybody else has tried this, let me know if you had the same experience. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to describe it as best I can, but it's, okay, so you can kind of see right here where it's just sticking and like blobbing together. It's so, it's kind of neat, like from a purely chemistry standpoint. Now I barely, I didn't really drain my brush at all on this one. I wanted to see how. So it's very wet, and you can see it's wet because it's moving, but it's not running at all. It's staying to get, it's staying together like, like Rose and Jack on Titanic, like don't let go. It's not going anywhere. Very weird. Interesting. Kind of glad I gave it a second chance, because like I said, I don't hate it. And the colors are really nice. So don't buy their kits, because those are apparently just a scam. Which now I'm kind of mad. Like, I'm mad that I like it, and I'm mad that it was good, because it's not the same product that you get in their little all-in-one kits. I don't know why. I guess the price point isn't even that different, because the kit was like 20 marked down to like 14, and these were like 20 marked down to like... I got these ones on sale, because they had the little coupon, so they were like 16, I want to say. So the price point isn't even all that different. I don't know why it's so bad. And I thought maybe it was the monomer, but I used multiple kinds of monomer with it. <clears throat> and the acrylic was just super grainy and just gross. Didn't, like, even the, the it was like pink, sheer pink and white, and the coverage was awful. Um, it didn't even work. The pink was complete, or the white, uh, the clear, was very cloudy. Like there, even after it dried and I like buffed it and used acetone and stuff, it was still like almost gray. You couldn't see through it at all. 
Yeah, look at this glitter. It's not giving me any problems, and glitter always gives me problems. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. So yeah, let me know if any of you guys have had this had any experience with Sadowlands Acrylic. And let me know what you thought of it, or if if you had this same same kind of kind of thing going on. Because it's just I'm curious now. Now I kind of want to get the other colors and check them out because, like I said, they're beautiful. The color after I applied it is perfectly even. There was no marbling like that went away as soon as I touched it with my brush. Um. They're super pigmented, but not so, it's like, it's, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> and, like, it, I, I think this would be good for practice. <clears throat> and they have some really nice glow colors. I think it would be great for practice because, like I said, it stays together, but it's still wet. So, like, even after this much time, I'm still able to work with it because I kept it wet, so it's not, like, really dry or anything. Even though it looks it. I just... I'm confused. So, we're gonna... And my brush is clean. Cleaner than I expected, because it, it... But, like I said, pay attention to your brush, because it will stick. So just make sure you're not just wiping it during application, but stopping to, you know clean it and give it a couple extra wipes just to make sure um but yeah i guess uh i'm gonna call it a win i mean solid b minus except I, I don't understand the texture but i don't need to i guess um yeah i'm surprised so okay Glad I gave it a second chance, but don't buy the kits. Um, I am gonna be checking out some of their clear and like sheer because I wanna see what the deal is with that. If that's the same way it was in the kit as well. But look at these. All right, I guess that's a win. So, uh, so you guys are probably gonna be seeing this video while I'm on my little break. Um, I will be back with new stuff shortly once I'm up and running, you know, once I'm up and moving around again. Um, can't thank you guys enough for the support. It means the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching.